Hi, everybody. This session will be about how to have some control over your students inside the classroom on Microsoft Teams. So, first of all, uh, this will not be a detailed session about how to use Microsoft Teams. It's again only about controlling what are the control tools that the teachers can have over students inside the class. First of all, make sure that you can see the participant or the students by clicking this icon to see all the list of your students. You as a teacher, you're supposed to see yourself as organizer. Your students, you're supposed to see them as guests if they don't have Microsoft accounts, but if in case your students have already Microsoft accounts, in that case, you will find the students as attendees. So the first controlling tool here, it's there from those three dots uh, at your uh, people or attendee list. Clicking those three dots will have I will show you manage permissions. So I will check with you what are the permissions that you can have control um, inside the class. Here, the most important ones are the first and the last. The first one is um, who can bypass the lobby. By default, uh, you will find that the, all the students as guests, they will be standing by the lobby, waiting in the lobby, and teachers have to admit the students one by one. Or, of course, you can find the admit all um, exists to admit all the students by, uh, at once. Go to here and you can allow everyone to bypass if you are uh, you, if you need to let every, any, anyone and all the students to go in the classroom directly without having to bother yourself to admit everyone one by one so just keep this everyone if you need to close this and keep it only me so only me that means all the students you should admit them to be in the classroom the last one here is who can present, and this is very, very important part. Many of the students can have access over your sharing screen option. So while you are teaching or explaining and sharing your screen or PowerPoint, you can find someone of the students that uh, overwrite your sharing screen and start to share from their side. To stop that for all the students, you have to go to who can present and make this also only me. In that case, only you as a teacher will be able to share your screen and not the student. So those are important. I will save right now and I will return back to my class. So here are the manage permissions part. What about much more options or controlling systems? Uh, you can convert the students in case they are guests. Uh, actually, as long as they are guests, sometimes the students can kick out some other students. So if the students are just playing with their screens and they check here, they may uh, find this option, remove from meeting. So actually, yes, students may be able to kick out other students or maybe kicking out the teacher. So, um, in that case, you can convert the student to an attendee. Actually, at your side, you can click these three buttons and you can find an option there to convert the student from a guest to an attendee. Converting the students to an attendee that will prevent the students to be able to uh, kick anyone out of the room or out of the class. By making the students attendee also, that may uh, disallow them from taking the control over the teacher screen. So they cannot take from you the sharing screen. They cannot uh, write or make anything as control over the teacher. Uh, those are some of the tricks or the option that may uh, allow teachers to have more control over your classroom and over your students inside the classes. So that was the tricks and trips for today. Thank you and goodbye.